Welcome, Amma. Thank you for taking time to do the library questionnaire. How do you take your coffee or tea? I don't traditionally take tea because I feel like I cannot have tea unless it has cream and sugar in it. The mm -hmm. British. So it depends on my mood. If I'm having a hot coffee, I have to have it with oat milk and like little dash of uh, sugar in the raw. But if I'm having an iced coffee, it's mm -hmm. no dairy in that. And then it's like like one pump of caramel syrup, which mm. means I'm, I'm going to Starbucks. So yeah, yeah, I understand. It's important. Yeah. It's specific. Next question. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I think I wanted to be a teacher. Okay. Like I was that kid that always had a classroom full of stuffed animals and mm -hmm. trying to teach them something knowing good and well I barely knew what I was trying to teach them myself <laughs> I, I definitely thought I was going to be a teacher in in some capacity so kind of adjacent all right okay you were in the lane because I had good. so many teachers when I was growing up that I felt were like just really impactful and I was like oh I yeah. want to be like her when I grow up that's beautiful okay What's the first record or album you ever bought? You know what? I'm going to go on the record and say Jay-Z's The Blueprint 2. Like, bought with my own money, wasn't getting okay. it from a friend, wasn't yep. down off a line or anything like that. I was like, you know what? I'm working hard for this. Like, I'm going to yeah. use my money. But it was definitely Jay-Z Jay Blueprint 2. Okay. I'm a Jay-Z fan all day, every day. And he is law in my house. So, love Jay-Z. Yeah. Next question. Mm -hmm. What's the best advice anyone has ever given you? When I was working at NYU, I had a boss. I was the executive assistant to the VP of enrollment management. His name is Randy Dykey. And I tend to get really caught up in the details and I get like stressed out. And so one time Randy was like, listen, if you don't figure it out, it's not the end. If it's not the end, you have tomorrow to figure it out. Like it's not the end of the world. And so I always think about that like, as I'm getting stressed out about something, I'm like, this is not the end. You can always mm -hmm. figure it out. That advice has stayed with me. Every time I get stressed out about something, I'm like, it's not the end. It's not the end. So I can figure it out. I just need to kind of take a deep breath, recalibrate, and I will figure it out. But that's some of the best advice I've ever received in my life. Okay. Pick one. Okay. Desert, mountain, beach, forest, or concrete jungle? I'm going to have to say concrete jungle. And Okay. Here's why. All of those places are very walkable. The beach, not so much because of the sand situation. But for me, I love to walk. So I was going to say forest because I love to walk. And I was like, ooh, but you don't like those bugs. You don't want those bugs on you. That's a, a dream killer for me. So I'm going to say concrete jungle because you can literally walk. I feel like that is not an answer we get very frequently. So I feel like you really really set you apart. New York is a, a required taste is what I like to call it. Um, <laughs> so to to a it's a love-hate relationship. Absolutely. The more distance that you have, the more you love it. So that's where, that's where I'm at now. I mean, I always loved it, but it's just so walkable. I love everything. Yeah. I, I love it. Maybe one day Atlanta. So to be fair, Atlanta can be walkable. Yeah. Because, places right? yeah so I have I've forced Atlanta to be a little bit more walkable mm. now you might see me on the side of the not the highway but the side of like North Decatur Road because I yeah. just love to walk you have to make it walkable it's not yeah. meant to be as walkable as I've made it oh, my. thank you for answering our library questionnary Amma I really okay. enjoyed getting to know you better anytime okay.